up beautiful souls I am hopping on here really quick because I'm being told it's very important actually I've been told this for a few weeks now I just haven't had the time to do it so I'm doing it now spirit is on me about this understanding when a message is for you and not for you is highly relevant at this time and here's why I say this as a guide and as a channel, I'm delivering messages and person A over here may say, well, that's not part of my truth and that doesn't make sense to me. That means it's not your message and it's not being delivered for you. So don't worry about it. And then you have person B over here who says, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. In exact, I'm in exactly the right frame of mind to receive it. And that message is for me. That's how you want to flow with it. So I also want to pinpoint this as well. Because all paths lead home, when I am doing channeled guidance for somebody on this video and it's for them, they may need to hear a certain statement in a certain way in order to receive it. Whereas person C over there says, I understand what you're saying, but I wouldn't say the statement that way because it, it just doesn't align with me or it's changing things for whatever. I don't know what the reason is. I, either you resonate with it or you don't. If you don't resonate with something, it does not mean it's wrong. It just means it had to be delivered in a very specific way in order for this person over here to receive it. It is the right delivery for them, even though it might be the wrong delivery for you. Another general rule with spirit, do not make something fit. Do not make meaning out of everything. The whole purpose of alignment and being in your, you've got a higher power and being in your higher power is the ability to observe and be in the world, but not of the world in the present moment. So that when something that is of meaning for you shows up, you know it. It is not to make meaning out of everything. That is just total chaos, if you think about it like that. You don't need to make meaning out of everything. Does everything on the planet have meaning? In terms of the macro, yes, each little piece of sand has a purpose and a meaning, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has meaning to you as a sacred reference. So, when I'm delivering messages on this channel, as a guide, I'm pulling from multiple consciousness. I'm pulling from many people's guides and loved ones who are showing up to deliver the information. It's not always going to resonate for everybody. In addition, the delivery of messages is also something important. Yes, says Ava. She says, mom embody me. She says, we deliver messages in order to reach very specific people or groups of subsets of souls in a very certain way. Even though one person might have trauma and another person might have that same trauma or same experience, because of their other aspects of their life path, the person who experienced the same traumas, they need a delivery that perhaps is hard-nosed. And maybe this person over here who's experienced the same trauma needs a path or a delivery that is gentle and soft and loving. Each soul receives it differently. So do not make messages fit that you feel are not for you. It's okay if you don't agree with what is being said and it's okay if you do. And here's why. If it doesn't agree with you, that's either gonna deepen you into your own knowing or it's going to actually lead you that's what guides do. We're leading you to the trajectory that you need to do. Sometimes it's meant to also lead you to someone that is aligned for you, who delivers it in the way that makes sense to you, that you need, that helps you evolve and expand and grow. Vice versa, this person over here that needed it delivered in that way, that means they received the information that they needed from the divine. Ava saying this, my daughter Ava, she, she says, I love everybody, mommy, and everybody's journey is important, and nobody is wrong. They're simply evolving at different rates and at different paces because they're all on different journeys, because there are no two souls that are exact, exactly the same or identical. You are all individuated fragments and souls of the great spirit. So when we're delivering messages, it might just be a knowing. You may just feel it. It might be a symbol or an image or something you were just thinking about. She says, Those, that's all the things that the universe is using to conspire to help you.
Now the universe, Ava says, uses your everyday experiences in order to help guide you. So when you are remembering a movie or a frame from a movie, don't dismiss it and say, oh, that's part of a movie. No, she says that the universe is literally using everything outside of you to help guide you on your inner landscape for your inner standing of yourself. So it's kind of like medium. Some mediums will say, oh, you shouldn't have to get messages from anybody else. That may be well, fine and true for them. But I know for me on my journey, I love being with other intuitives who who share messages with me. I love receiving validations outside of us. Signs, signs everywhere, signs, because that's what we use to validate and continue on our trajectory, our path, and our journey. So we use everyday things, says Ava, in order to connect all of you. And one thing that is used, one image, one sentence, one reference, will not just have one meaning. This is how intricately designed the divine design truly is, mom, says Ava. She says one symbol, one meaning actually has a thousand different meanings to a thousand different people, yet they're all staring at the same thing. She says that's how you need to look at messages. If you hear a message and you think, oh, that other person said it was for them, so it's not for me. No, 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 no. That's for you if it brought on a knowing or a feeling or guided you towards something. Be open to observe and then have a clear knowing of, of what is meaningful to us. The universe is using everything around you to help you evolve in, the, in your inner world. So the outer world, the macro, the inner world, the micro. As your inner world micro changes, so does the outer. That's the fifth dimension. We all think we're going to this new earth and it's this new plane. We're going somewhere else. 5D new earth is within you. You are a realm unto yourself. You are an earth, a universe lives inside of you, exists inside of you. When you move into that fifth dimensional or that spiritual ascension process, you automatically are shifting the collective consciousness to a new earth because there are 7 billion or 8 billion I am universes inside of each of us, but also outside of us, right? The micro and the macro. So the macro, the... Your loved ones in spirit, I'm being told, they are using everything, like whacking you on top of the head with all these signs. You have to choose to follow it. You have to choose to expand into it. You have to choose to start trusting the universe and you must trust yourself. That is part of the lesson somebody on here is learning. You're learning to trust yourself. Mm -hmm.